everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk to you about two products. Um, and two products I believe I have mentioned. I just haven't talked to you about them. I wanted to kind of get them into my routine before I gave my opinion on them. And um, one product I'm going to talk to you about that I am returning. And it's not because I don't believe it's a bad product, but it just doesn't work for me. So we're going to talk about that too. So let's get started with that one. I am a fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love a lot of their products. And this is the foundation and it is called a luminous foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. And today, unfortunately, I have to return it because I noticed um, the first day, and I had them match up um, my color tone, and we all agreed, yep, this looks about right. I noticed that my nose started running when I was doing my makeup application. I mean, just like really bad, but I am not thinking it has anything to do with my foundation. I'm just thinking it's the weather, we're into our very rainy season, and um, so that's what I thought. And I can say I love the feel of it. I love how my skin feels while I have this on, and I also liked the way it looked on my skin. However, I did notice that it kind of yellowed on me just a little bit so it did oxidize a little bit on my skin but needless to say at the end of the day I thought you know a pretty good product it's I would say it is not full coverage foundation no but it is on the medium light side but yet it still gives you um, almost a, a flawless look it really does it's really pretty but the effects of using it again the second time because I thought okay I like it um, I started having a runny nose again and just again didn't think anything but it was during the time I'm putting on my makeup and so I just went about proceeded putting my makeup on and uh, wore it that day but then again I noticed the color on me seemed to yellow it just seemed to um, oxidize I guess on my skin now I had no itching um, you know no hive like reaction to it nothing like that but by the third day, I decided to go back and just use my um, Tarte Powder foundation and, uh, you know, been used to using that, no problem. And then one day I went to use my NARS, used it, no problem. And then I went back to this particular foundation and my nose started running shortly after I started to apply the foundation. And I do believe there is something in it that I must be overly sensitive to. Um, and I just decided I'm not going to, you know, spend that kind of money on a new foundation that I'm going to be troubled with because it was like, okay, I've got my makeup on, I'm set, I'm ready to go, and my nose is constantly running, 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 and I'm wiping my nose and having to reapply again. I no because obviously there is something I don't know because it did not occur with the other products that I was using but it was something that kind of clicked in my head oh it's not agreeing with me so I'm sad to say but it is going back and um, I'm sure there will be others that um, that will come out in the future and I will trial and like I said I love Anastasia Beverly Hill products I use the brow whiz all the time I've tried their shadows love them no problem but for some reason this just doesn't agree with me well sorry guys I just got a little cue that uh, my um, battery on my phone is 
and having issues with that, having issues with my computer, and um, I've gone through three microphones. Uh, phones now three um, two that the alligator clip broke off and then static and so I'm dealing with that because I realized that the last video or so the quality of the audio was really horrible but I had done so much work on that video that I did not want to just scrap it so I'm going to speak um, loudly and um, get through this so anyways, like I was saying, yeah, this particular one, it's going back for me. And um, that's not to say that it's a bad product. That's not to say that it's not good. It's to say that somebody else might really um, benefit from it. Because like I said, I did like the finish that it left on my skin and how my skin felt all throughout the day. I didn't like the fact that it did change colors on me. So final um, product that I want to talk about and review is this little guy from Dry Bar. This is a hot tooling brush. It's not a flat iron, but it is a brush. And um, as I have also introduced in my video, the Revlon um, dryer, you know, for your hair with the big oval brush and um, have done several videos on that and demonstrated and how much I love that. That's exactly what I did today after um, washing my hair. And then um, I dried it with my Revlon um, dryer. And I do get lots of body with that. This is absolutely ideal. Especially for this length of hair and the type of hair that I have. Now, this is not my first brush that I have that's a hot brush. I have one that is bigger and it is a really good hot brush. Um, I don't use flat irons any longer. Ever since I bought that Revlon um, dryer, I just have found I don't need the flat iron because it cuts down on fuzz and frizz and it just leaves my hair with good body. But to smooth it the way I like it, um, especially if I let my hair air dry, then that's when I will use the bigger um, styling brush. And um, because it gets super, super hot, um, and it just really gets through when my hair's been air dried and, you know, wavy and you know, kind of just out there. But when I'm using um, my dryer and I've um, dried my hair, I just needed something to just kind of smooth it down a little, but I hated using the big brush because of the intensity of it. And I didn't really need it to be that um, intense. Like I said, I love that one for the days that I don't dry my hair because I can get a smooth finish with that tool just like this and um, this one though is awesome because it's just the right size especially for my length of hair now even if your hair is longer it it works great now I don't have it plugged in but this is all I do after I've dried my hair and what it does is just smooths everything and I just pass it through just like I'm brushing it like with a regular brush one or two times and it's usually back here and underneath that I just kind of just flip it a little bit just to get that underneath hair that wants to curl and do its own thing. Love this. This is from Dry Bar. I purchased this at Ulta. It's $59. It's another great tool to add to make things nice and quick. Now, on the off days where I haven't um, washed my hair, this is the little guy I go to just to give me a nice smooth if I'm wearing my hair down or if I've had my hair up the day before and I have dents or those crinkles from my little scrunchie or, you know, the barrettes or just a couple of dents. I just take this out, run it through once or twice, smooth it. It's great. Simple and easy. So with the two styling products that um, I have just introduced into my life, it has replaced my big brown brush, my um, hair dryer, and then my flat iron, and 
this gets the job done. If I don't have this, if it wasn't here or available, this is perfect on my hair. It's just, I like to just smooth it down just a little more. Now, if you're a big hair girl and you like that, you know, really fuller look, then you probably don't want to flatten it out, but it's always good for the second hair day, third hair day. Hi everybody. Well, I am uh, adding a little bit to this video. The reason being is because you know what, whatever I put out there, I want it to be fair. I want it to be honest, um, not just for me, but for you. So let me go back. I'm going to do a little retraction and then I'm going to do a little demonstration. Um, my first retraction, I talked about this Anastasia Beverly Hill foundation. This is the new one. It is the luminous foundation. Listen, I really wanted to like this a lot, and I loved the way it looked. Um, boop, go back. I loved the way it felt on my skin while I was wearing it. What I didn't like is uh, I just felt like it oxidized on me. Um, and maybe it was because it just wasn't the right color. Um, it was just pulling so much yellow from my skin and you know I did go in I had them match me up I agreed with it it looked like it but you know how hard it is in those lights and I even walked to the front door where the sunlight was to really assess it but as I wore it I just noticed I kept feeling like gosh my face seems so yellow so I thought um, I returned it I did return it and at the time um, I was in between errands and going somewhere and I didn't have time and I had makeup on and I said well you know what I'm gonna return this um, I told the clerk you know what was going on with it and I said but I'll just to be fair because I really like the way it feels um, I'm gonna come back with no makeup on and then I'll have them do my face and we'll see I was still concerned that I felt like I was having allergy issues from it so this particular foundation claims to and I'm gonna read it to you right off the box because I didn't do that that it's vegan um, gluten-free alcohol-free clinically tested dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested non comedogenic suitable for sensitive skin long wearing and no flashback now I don't get the vegan thing I mean it I mean I get it you know <laughs> but it doesn't eat beef just doesn't eat meat just veggies kidding just kidding but kind of cracks me up when I see that vegan on products but I get it um, gluten-free so those that have allergies to gluten that's very important alcohol free is important to me um, I like that it's clinically and dermatologically tested I have sensitive skin it says it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's long wearing which I have to attest I felt like it was very long wearing uh, and no flashback now the no flashback thing I don't really care about that's like for professional models who get their photos taken and you know it doesn't put that white cast on your face but then you're not supposed to use sunscreen and sorry I use sunscreen 365 days a year because I don't want to say I don't like the Sun um, of course we all need to be nourished by the Sun and so does everything else but uh, I don't like the idea of having the Sun on my face um, or my hands or my arms I mean it it's just kind of one of those scary things now so I wear sunscreen every day and um, yeah because why I have damage from the Sun from my young teenagers and we've already talked about all of that so whatever I can do to correct it but this does leave a pretty luminous finish on your skin and it feels good on your skin now did it oxidize on me yes it did I don't know about all the claims where it may not do that to others it did and it pulled so much yellow from my skin because I believe I was definitely in the wrong color and so what I decided to do is I'm going to go back to the store no makeup on it only my primer that's it and um, I did that today was the day perfect day for me to do that and um, I did not want to tell the clerk what I had purchased prior that I had returned um, I just wanted her to look at me and assess me and match me up 
So she did that and she came back and I'm like, really? And she had two different colors and the one of course that she first started with, she goes, nope, I can tell right now, this is far too light for you. And I said, I know I have kind of like that sallow looking olive kind of tone to me, but really my face and neck area is pretty, like it's light, it's not fair, fair, but it's still on the light side. And sometimes people match me up with a powder or a foundation and it's so beige it just doesn't work for me so um she came back with the two and one she said nope i can tell right now this one is going to be way too light and then this other one she goes i'm thinking this is okay so she did a big you know stretch right here we let it sit for a little bit looked at it and she said now i can try to go a little bit darker because there are so many shades in this foundation it's awesome and um i said well and so sh we just fooled around a little bit here but mostly here and let it sit and we thought yeah that looks like a pretty good match so um i also was trying to pay attention is my nose running am i starting to get that runniness that i was kind of making a um, assumption that every time I sit down to do my makeup when I was using this, my nose started running. Now I never had any itchy skin, redness, swelling, hives. My eyes didn't get watery and itchy. And normally if it is an allergen that's bothering me, it's both. Eyes and runny nose, eyes and runny nose. And yes, I get allergies are out there right now and they're really awful even though we're having a ton of rain which is always good for me when we do because it just kind of brings those allergens down um, but I didn't know so I said okay I'm gonna sit around for about 10 minutes and just let it sit on my face let me see what I feel about the coloring and let me see if I'm gonna have any you know runny nose or anything no I did not and I liked the coloring and I'm like okay this I think looks good. Now the clerk said to me, listen, it is going to oxidize. Um, I mean, it does. And there's other people that have said, you know, they wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be one of those ones that just, you know, oxidizes like right after you have it on. But what I was so impressed with the first time is I did like the luminosity that it left and I liked how it felt on my skin. And I'm an oily girl person, so... Mm, that usually comes out pretty quickly. Um, now, I have done nothing to my face. I went ahead and did the full application of it probably four and a half hours ago. And, you know, I'll come up as close as I can. I still think it has that nice, I have no highlighter on. Um, I just have a little bit of blush on that I put over it. Um, no setting powder. I think it, I can see maybe I'm starting to get a little breakdown, not even breakdown, just a little coming through here. But this is my T-zone area and that's really the part that, you know, I need to powder up. But I like it. Now, she went ahead and did two um, applications. The first one with a sponge. And I would have to say with a sponge application, it was a very light um, coverage um, to where your skin actually showed through and it looked nice, but it didn't give me the coverage that I want in a long wearing foundation. But then the second go round was with a brush. It went on heavier, but it felt good. And yes, then I could say it was definitely a good medium coverage. So I suppose if you want to do three layers of it with your brush application, then you can get full, full coverage. But um, it's very buildable. So um, I like it, but I don't want to wear that much on my face. I am happy with the medium coverage. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it another try. So she said, well, what number? Now this one that I have today is number 130N, and there are so many shades, so many colors to choose from. Um, and so we looked on my sales receipt that I had returned and she was like, are you kidding? Because it was hugely different. The gap was hugely different. She goes, I never would have put you in that color. So then there was another clerk there and she just was, you know, working or call, walking by and she said, do you 
remember um, working with her and she looked at me. I said, oh no, it wasn't her. Um, and she said, you know, because she was matched up here and, you know, this is what she has on. And she goes, well, whatever you have on looks like it's a perfect match. And she said, and this is what they matched her up with. And she was like, what? Yeah, I mean, she goes, that is way too yellow beige for you. And I go, and that's exactly what the problem was when I purchased it. I just kept seeing this. I, it was just like, I don't want to look like I'm tan. I, I just don't. I'm beyond it. I'm, And I don't like wearing that coloring like that. I would rather use bronzers on a light end and just put that little bit of natural color. But I have to say, I like this. I like this. I think, oh, I don't want to say it now. Is it going to replace my NARS? Oh, I don't know. But I like it. And uh, it feels good on, and I do think it's the right color for me. So I just wanted to get that out there because I was sad that it didn't work out for me, but I didn't want to say anything. And I didn't get a runny nose. So, you know, and it's always good to know that they're dermatologist tested. They're good for sensitive skins. And that's really what attracted me to this foundation because it's good for sensitive, suitable for sensitive skin. It's dermatologist tested. It's alcohol free. I mean, you know, that's what I'm looking for because I know what happens when I'm using something that has alcohol and stuff in it. Okay. So the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is this. Uh, I got stuck in the rain today. Mm -hmm. After I just talked to you about my little um, handheld um, dry bar hot brush. So this is what the rain does. Now yesterday I had my rain hat with me all day and of course today it was sunshiny when I went out and um, yeah, they were talking about rain, but not as early as I was going to be out, so I didn't think I needed anything, but I did. So, you can see, okay, this is what the, then my hair did get wet quite a bit. I mean, I pretty much, I didn't get soaked, but yeah, it had a nice hard rain on me. And um, my hair is not frizzy. And I attribute that to wow. Wow is um, that humectant that I've been using that really has cut down on the frizz. And so, you know what? Actually, for getting my hair wet and stuff, it looks fine. It has that little bit of wave to it. It's not bad. But what I thought I would do is come on and demonstrate the dry bar um, for you so you can see how it will smooth out. Let me just get a couple of clips here. That way you can see how I can get it to smooth out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this back, put it in a clip real quick. Even though I think, you know, with the little bit of wave, I think it looks kind of nice. It's not bad at all. So I just kind of put it up there and I'm just gonna show you. Now it's been turned on, so it is hot. And it's just easier if I just take it in little strands. And I, I did comb my hair right before I sat down. Just because after it gets wet and it starts wanting to curl on the bottom, you know, it can get kind of knotty. Now, this does heat up, but it doesn't get to a temperature that you can't touch your hair. Whereas when you use the great big one, um, uh, yeah, your hair is really hot and, ooh, I probably should have sprayed my heat protectant on it. Oh, sorry, I forgot I didn't. But I just kind of want to show you how easy it is to smooth out the waves. Really, the hardest part for me is that underneath part, not because it's hard to get, it's just that's the part that gets so super curly. Okay, let's take it off a little bit more. Hmm. Oh, that's a cute look. Okay, now you can see. And I'm just passing it through. I'm not pulling it, you know, tight or taut. I'm just gripping it like you would your hair in any normal brush. 
and you can see and I'm in this little room right now and our humidity is like so hot because we've had torrential rains and I do think there's a little hurricane kind of brewing in the Gulf that they're keeping an eye on but can you see the difference in the straightness of it and if you don't want to separate your hair I just do because I think it's easier on your hair and you can just grab it and just you know do your thing okay now I'll take it completely down oh that clip is hidden under there and I don't want to pull my hair like I just did because ouchie Okay, and it still has the top layer part that's a little bit, you know, crinkly. And this is what I was talking about earlier in the video, that, um, you know, after you sleep, you do get a little bit of crinkles. But, like I said, a silk pillowcase really helps on that. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic and if it's making noise I'm just having so much so many issues when I do the voiceovers that ugh, it's frustrating I had to scrap a video this week guys and I'm still trying to work on the audio part because it was really bad and it's hard because you work to get a video out and then you download it and it turns to bad um, then it just turns out to be bad so okay guys that's it see it took out the crinkles and the wrinkles and um, smoothed it out which is you know the way I like to wear my hair um, but that literally took no time and so basically that's why I went with the smaller one because on days like that that you know I want it smoother and not wavy or when I get up this thing is so handy so 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 handy so um, I just thought I would do a demonstration as long as I was coming back to you with um, the news of my um, Anastasia Beverly Hill foundation it's so far today I like it so nobody knows and so hopefully, and it doesn't look like this color, this color looks like it's the perfect match. And maybe that was the majority of the problem. So until my next video, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye.